Hello Internet and welcome to another episode of Automotive Carnage. In today's episode, we step away from the engine just a little bit as there's some good stuff that's arrived in the mail that we need to get in the car so we can get it road legal. So even though I said we're going to move away from the engine bay, that's exactly where we're going to start. But mainly where we're going to start is these headlight mounts. Now on this side, this one's nice and straight, whereas this one's had a knock sometime in its history and I can't actually fit that headlight in there correctly. So what we need to do is we need to pull this crease out towards us and we need to pull this over that way to line it up correctly. To do that, what we have in here is a slide hammer. So that's going to help us get that support bar in the correct shape. Next, we have spark plugs. It's always good to replace those and all this will hopefully help towards this car running better and smoother. Um, bolts. Um, Yep, can't remember where those came from, so that's not good. Anyway, and the next package we have is this big thing. So, in here, this one I've been waiting for weeks to finally arrive. We have a window washer bottle neck, which we don't need. All we needed was the lid, which I've already put on the car. Seatbelt! Um, get this out of the way first. Prop for the bonnet. Uh, the one we've got, this rubber, rubber grommet, I guess you'd call it. Uh, has perished away so it doesn't actually hold in securely it's currently held in by zip ties um, and then the seat belt so as you remember in a previous video the passenger side seat belt doesn't click in correctly so i found a guy who was selling the whole lot um, and i'm a little bit annoyed because the ones we have in the car they are standard sylvia ones these ones are an aftermarket made in australia item so not only do i have to replace the stalk but i have to replace the roller as well um, which requires us to pull out half the interior so that's annoying but it is what it is and then over here in this bag we have door handles so we've got new handles which wasn't really necessary but what was necessary was the locks um, this car did not come with its original key the owner lost it so yeah we'll see what there we are key with barrels so that's fantastic we're actually about to start the car the way it was intended to be started so we'll be pulling that in today as well i think that's everything we've had arrive so let's get cracking as i said we're going to start in that engine bay area and move our way backwards into the interior let's do this Alright, so that was a lot easier than expected. Uh, as you saw, we managed to pull all this out. It's not perfect, but it works. Unfortunately, in the crash, or dang, or whatever he had, the top part of this bracket has fallen off, so we can't actually mount the grill on that side, but we can on that side. Luckily, I fall ahead of this, and I've got new headlights coming, which are a lot nicer, but we'll wait for Thursday for them to arrive. Uh, we also managed to get that pole in, which now is looking a lot nicer than a couple of scrag of the old cable ties there. Right, so let's do a quick light test, make sure everything works, and then we'll move on to the interior. So that's it. So lights are off. Yes they are. Lights are on. The low beam, perfect. And we're on high beam. I should also mention too that we've replaced the interior stalk. So let's go have a look at that now. Oh, but first, but first. Now we've got a space all put back together. Oh, now it looks like a Sylvia. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go look at that inside. All right, so here is the stalk that's been replaced. Now, I apologize about the lighting, it's the middle of the day, but for some reason, my um, camera don't want to pick up the light. So anyway, um, stalk has been replaced. I'm sorry I didn't show you, but I was just so excited for the lights to finally work. I've gone and bung that in. Uh, I had to cut a couple of the burnt wires. All right, let's see if we can focus on that. They're all corroded and they wouldn't lock in properly. That's not going to focus for you guys, but anyway, they were all burnt. So yeah, replaced two of the wires. 
the rest of them were able just to repin the plug and it is working great. It doesn't look the best, but second hand and it came with all the bits that we needed. Buying a brand new, I didn't get the new plug, so I had to go the second hand route. Uh, we will need to center the steering wheel. Those wheels are straight at the moment and that's on the crooked, so that's not too good. But the main thing I want to do first is to put the new barrel in. So we've got a new barrel and key as I showed you before. We're going to uh, put that in so I can finally start turning this car over with a key. Then we'll pull our shrouds back in around here, um, down this way. Oh, horrible lighting again. But anyway, the kick panel there needs to be put back on and the speaker needs to be put back in the door. Um, it's a horrible speaker, but it's the one that fits and I don't have the factory covers, so that's going to have to do. And then we'll fix our steering wheel. So hopefully I can put the camera in a uh, position with a bit more light for you guys. And let's get cracking into it. There we have it. The inside is starting to look like an actual cockpit now. So we've got the key barrel in with an actual key, which is awesome. We've got our cover surrounding the steering column. We've got our panel back in under here to cover all that nasty wiring. And we've also got a kick panel down here. I don't have the cover for the fuses though, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for one of those. Now, moving on to the door. What a mess. So looking at that, I've never pulled an S13 door apart before, but that looks aftermarket. That looks like PVA glue that they've used to hold the door card on. Um, and it is just a general mess. So anyway, we're going to pop off the door handle behind there and I replace it with the new one that has the matching lock for that key, which is really awesome. Now how cool is this? You walk up to your car, you get your key, you put it in the door lock, I can't get it in there, unlock it, and the door opens. I have not been able to do it since I owned this car because I didn't have one of these. And now we do, how awesome is that? Um, so that all works, hunky dory, look at that, looks sweet in there now. Battery disconnected so nothing's gonna happen. Um, yep, we've spoken about that. Now we go down here, this is all back in. I know that is an ugly speaker but it's there, it's covering a hole, so it works. Um, this side, that lock's been done as well. Now, we're going to straighten out the steering wheel. And someone's already put a socket on there, how handy is that? So, let's get cracking and take that off. And then we'll go around it and... Oh, we've got to put the spark plugs in, so we'll do that next as well. Cool, let's get started. take you all on a tale of disappointment. We've all been there when modifying and fixing cars. You order parts, they're not quite right. The only problem is I paid good money for these seat belts and I waited over a month and a half for them to finally arrive and they're all completely useless. Um, what I thought was original Sylvia factory seat belts coming turns out to be aftermarket Australian ones as I said earlier. They are all completely useless and let me show you why. Firstly, the only part I actually need to change inside my car is the stalk on the passenger's side. So I got two of these. Now, why didn't I get four? I don't know. But anyway, I got two of these. These are the aftermarket ones. So you think, well, I will just replace these with the matching belt to go with it. But no matter which way I turn this, that belt ain't coming out. Not only that, but this is a lap belt. There's no third point to anchor this. So again, useless to me. The other ones that came with it, where are they? These ones here, now these are a three point anchor as you can see, somewhere, yep. The clip is original Sylvia, this does clip into the buckle um, on the driver's side, but as I said the part I actually need to replace is the stalk on the passenger's side. So yeah, you win some you lose some, they're no good to me. So I'm going to leave you on that unfortunate news, but it is silver lining because I have found a guy in West Australia here who does have a buckle he's willing to sell. So I'm just waiting to make sure it is the correct one 
and we will order that and replace it. Um, as for the engine, we're going to start replacing the fuel line next episode. So I have a new fuel filter coming, I have a new fuel pump coming, um, and we're going to have to get underneath and replace any perished lines because there is a smell of fuel coming through at the cabin whenever you start the car. So bad news today, but good news next week. So stay tuned, we will get this car running shortly. But as for the interior, it's all done except for that seat belt. The exterior is all ready to go. We can lock a car, we can start a car. We just need to be able to run a car. So join us next time and I'll catch you then.